Welcome to Milan Recording Studios. Today I wanted to show you a couple of rather interesting instruments that we never would have thought that we would have picked up for the studio, but we just kind of happened upon and we really couldn't say no. We were visiting the town of Red Wing, Minnesota, which unfortunately is probably a very long ways away from many of you. It certainly is a very long ways from California or Tennessee, which is where I've been spending a lot of my time. But there was an awesome deal on a Musser M75 vibraphone up in Red Wing that we just had to go get. So we traveled up there and it's an absolutely lovely town. And if you're ever in the area, I have to uh, recommend you go visit it. It's, it's so lovely, particularly in the summertime. I can't advise visiting it in the wintertime, but it's pleasant in the summertime. So anyway, we're at this guy's house with the vibraphone, and he has a couple of very interesting instruments at his house, and uh, he actually is willing to sell those as well as with the vibraphone. And so we were able to pick up this authentic Cuban chicory and the uh, Cuban clave as well. Now, the clave is an instrument that has been used um, a long time in Afro-Cuban and Latin American music, and I believe it comes from Latin America, it might come from Africa, but this particular one was actually handmade in Cuba, which is pretty cool. And the way the clave works is it's both an instrument and a rhythm. And the clave instrument has a particular rhythm, and there's actually several variations of it, that go along with it, and the clave rhythm is basically the backbone of Afro-Cuban and Latin American music. And the clave goes something like this. There's also the backwards version of it, so instead of having three notes and then two, you'd start off with two notes and then have three. And that's basically, like I said, the backbone of Latin American music. Now this particular clave is a very interesting design, and I've never seen one like it. Typically claves would be a stick like this, perhaps a bit bigger in diameter and perhaps even longer, but there'd just simply be two sticks like this that you'd hit together in such a fashion and it would make that same sound. But this one here is actually a different design, and it's it's a hollow tube. I believe this is rosewood. I'm, this one here, it looks a lot like the bars on my rosewood marimba here. This one here looks a little bit different, but it's a very, very hard wood. And it's kind of like a hollow tube, and it's got the little hollow areas here, and it's got this um, little cutout here that you can cup your hand over. And you might have heard there when I was playing it, I moved my hand a little bit, and it changed the sound, and it made it all deeper and stuff. And so you can change the sound. Uh, I'm not doing it now. But for a second there, it was all deep. And uh, if, you, if you don't cup your hand over it, it has a really thin sound. So cupping your hand over it really helps amplify the sound. So if, you, if you've ever seen a clave like this and you know what, if there's a special name for this type of clave or something like that, let me know because I've never seen one quite like this and I think it's quite unusual. Now this instrument here is also interesting. This is a shaker and this originates from Africa and it's one of the many cool percussion instruments that uh, the African people have invented. They have a fantastic array of really cool instruments. And this particular one, however, was actually made in Cuba. The African people brought it to Cuba many years ago, and the Cuban people have adopted it in their music, and this one here, like I said, was made in Cuba. Now, traditionally, the shaker is made with a gourd, and I don't know what they do in Africa, but the, in Cuba, they actually made the beads here simply out of seed pods that they harvested from the jungle. So there's a, a, a ring of red ones here, and then they've got three layers of these black ones here, and then they've also got little small ones. I think these are some form of seed pods as well. And so since they're seed pods, they're very loud and they're very, very dense, and so playing this instrument is actually a bit of a challenge because it's so loud. If you were to shake it like you would perhaps a, a more commercial version available in a music store, it's just crazy loud and it hurts your ears. So with this particular one, you might want to just uh, gently play it. Something like that. Or you could even like uh, sit, set it in your lap or something like that and just tap it. Now, there's a whole bunch of different things you can do with it as well. And it also has this little uh, strap here so you can maybe like hang it on the wall or just carry it around with you or something like that. I just wanted to do a quick video on these because I thought they were really, really cool that they're authentic Cuban instruments from Cuba made by the Cuban people and it was really, really cool to be able to purchase these and have them in Milan Recording Studios. So if you liked this video, uh, you can go check out my content. I've got lots of videos on pianos, I've got some videos on percussion, and I'm going to have lots of cool videos on the marimba and the vibraphone and all kinds of cool other stuff that we collect. So if that sounds cool, you can go check out my channel. If you want to subscribe, thank you very much and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.